Have you ever felt overwhelmed by a battle that seemed too difficult to fight? Perhaps it's a battle against anxiety, fear, or doubt. Or maybe it's a struggle with temptation, addiction, or sin. In Ephesians 6 verse 13, Paul emphasizes that every believer is engaged in a spiritual battle. Peter also warns us in 1 Peter 5 verse 8 not to underestimate our adversary, the devil, who constantly wages war against believers. To stand firm against the schemes of the devil, Paul urges us in Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18 to put on the armor of God, just as a soldier equips themselves with armor in physical battle. Since Ephesians was written during Paul's imprisonment, he became familiar with the armor of the Roman army. Drawing inspiration from Isaiah 59 verse 17, Paul skillfully establishes a compelling parallel between the armor worn by a soldier and the armor of God. Let's now delve deeper into the significance of each piece of this divine armor. Number 1. The Belt of Truth. The belt was the initial equipment a soldier would wear, demonstrating their readiness for action. Likewise, believers are instructed to put on the belt of truth as their foundational piece. Just as a soldier's belt secures and unifies their gear, the belt of truth plays a crucial role in holding together the other pieces of the armor of God. Jesus proclaimed, Your word is truth, John 17 verse 17. The truth serves as an anchor, reminding us of our identity in Christ. By standing firm in the truth, we cultivate the ability to discern the lies of the enemy, often referred to as the father of lies. Number 2. The Breastplate of Righteousness. Next, we have the Breastplate of Righteousness. Just as a soldier's breastplate safeguards their vital organs, the breastplate of righteousness protects our hearts, shielding us from the influence of evil. Philippians 3 verse 9 affirms that our righteousness comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God based on faith. Through faith in Christ, we are made righteous and eternally reconciled with God. So, it is essential for us to daily clothe ourselves with the righteousness of Christ and strive to live a life that reflects His righteousness in all that we do. Number 3. The Shoes of the Gospel of Peace. Moving on, we come to the shoes of the Gospel of Peace. These shoes represent our readiness and willingness to share the good news of the Gospel. As soldiers of Christ, we are called to actively engage in spreading the message of Jesus Christ, which is a fundamental aspect of being fully equipped for spiritual warfare. Just as the footwear of Roman soldiers provide traction and stability during their journeys, the peace that comes from the gospel equips us to traverse challenging paths as we carry this same gospel to others. Number 4. The Shield of Faith. Now, let's discuss the Shield of Faith. This piece symbolizes our unwavering trust in God and acts as a protective barrier against the attacks of the enemy. Just as a shield blocks and extinguishes fiery arrows, the shield of faith defends us against doubts and questioning. It empowers us to place our trust in God's goodness, our salvation, and our identity in Christ. In Romans 8 verses 38 to 39, we are assured that, neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. We witness the profound impact of faith in biblical accounts, such as Daniel's deliverance from the lions and the preservation of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. Faith not only serves as personal protection but also, when joined together with other believers, it strengthens and builds each other up. It is similar to how the Roman soldiers united their shields for collective defense. By standing together in faith, we support and reinforce one another, forging a strong spiritual defense against the enemy's schemes. Number 5. The Helmet of Salvation. Undoubtedly, the most crucial piece of the armor of God is the Helmet of Salvation. Without salvation, the other pieces of armor hold no value. Salvation empowers us to engage in the spiritual battle, protecting our minds from the enemy's lies and deception. Through the assurance of our salvation, we are equipped to confront and overcome the challenges and temptations that arise, knowing that we are shielded by the redemptive work of Christ. 
With the helmet of salvation firmly in place, we can navigate the battlefield of life with unwavering faith and steadfast resolve. Number 6. The Sword of the Spirit. Finally, we have the Sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. This powerful offensive weapon equips us to fight against the enemy's attacks and temptations. Just as Jesus used scripture to defeat Satan during his temptation in the desert, we are called to wield the Word of God in our battles. The Word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Hebrews 4 verse 12. In addition to the armor of God, prayer plays a vital role in our spiritual warfare. Through prayer, we express our dependence on God and invite His presence and power into our battles. It is through prayer that we receive strength, guidance, and discernment to navigate the challenges we face. The Apostle Paul urges us in Ephesians 6 verse 18 to pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. Prayer serves as our direct line of communication with God, fortifying us in our spiritual battles. The armor of God is not just a metaphor, it is a reality that equips us for victory in our spiritual battles. By understanding the significance of each piece of this spiritual armor and embracing prayer, we can face any battle with confidence and assurance, knowing that God is with us and empowers us for triumph. Let us put on the full armor of God and stand firm against the schemes of the devil. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this.